Hello, I'm John Emmerich, and I'd like to spend a few minutes talking about setting up the Trap Cat from alternate mode to work with BFD2. It's a very simple operation. In fact, on the F Expansion website, there's a tutorial section. Inside that section, you'll see two videos. One deals with key mapping and setting up an electronic drum set with BFD2. And the second video deals specifically with the hi-hats. Everyone likes to use the hi-hats a little bit differently. And because your foot's moving and you have complete control over the split points in BFD2, we have a video just for hi-hats. Setting it up is very simple. Now, what I've done is I've already got it set up. So the files that I use are now available at alternatemode.com and fexpansion.com. What you get is a sysx file for the Trapcat, which turns the first user patch into BFD2 preset. You also get the key map files for BFD2. So the screen on this says BFD2. Screen on this says Trapcat. It's plug and play. Simple. Now let's go ahead and go over what I've put together for you. Starting in the center, I use 2, 3, 12, and 13 for the snare drum, for the main snare drum. Pad 2 will be the normal hit. Pad 3 will be the half edge. Now on some of the older libraries that might not have the half edge hit, that's fine. It'll automatically play the same as on pad 2, so you don't have a blank pad. Now, drum sets like a TD-20, they talk about positional sensing. It's two notes. It's two pitches. There's no reason why you can't use those. Same approach on a, a flat instrument like the Trap Cat. All I have to do is move my hands back and forth between the two pads and I get some variation. Very cool. Now pad 12, I use that for a rim shot. Pad 13 is for my cross stick. Simple. Moving out from there, pad 1 and 4 are set to the same MIDI note for the variable tip hi-hat. Pads 11 and 14 are my variable shank. So I can use the same movements that I would normally use on a hi-hat. Tip, shank. Left hand also. Now you combine that with the continuous control information coming from the pedal, I now have full variable hi-hats. Including the foot check. Now I put them on both sides of the snare drum so you don't have to cross over. It also lends itself to some interesting patterns. Moving on, pads 6, 7, 8, and 9. In that order are the toms, high to low. Those are the Gretsch drums from the Jazz and Funk expansion pack. Very cool. Moving on up, the top two pads, 19 and 20. I have the percussion slot with a cowbell, so I have the regular hit and the alternate hit. So I have tip and shank of a cowbell. Cool, moving on again. Pad 17 and 18 are crash symbol one. 17 being the hit, 18 being the bell. Now if I put a crash symbol in there, that's fine too. The crash symbol will automatically play where it's supposed to play. On the other side, 21 and 22 are bell and hit for the ride symbol. So right hand and left hand both have a bell and a hit. Cool. Now 23 and 24, same configuration. In this case, I have a Chinese symbol. So since there's no bell on a Chinese symbol, they're both going to play the regular Chinese symbol hit. If I put a ride symbol in there, I'll get bell and hit. Easy. Now the last remaining pads, I like having a second snare drum. So what I've done is in snare drum slot number two, I have the hit. And that's the Cadessan snare drum from the Modern Drummer Snare Drum Selects. 
and I have the rim shot over here. So I can play. Now you're starting to see the possibilities. Also, on the final two pads over here, which is 16 and 15, I have, on 16, I have the cross stick for snare drum number two. And then I have a drag on the final pad. I can almost do rolls. So when I'm playing a groove, I can access drags, rolls, cross sticks over here. So now I can have two cross sticks. A lot of fun possibilities. Also, within the snare drum setups, and if you look at the percussion library, you have hand drums like congas and bongos, djembes. They have the same kind of articulation spread out. So you can put a conga, one drum, inside snare drum slot number two, and have five articulations, four of which you can go ahead and access right here with the trap cap. A lot of cool possibilities. That's my setup. If it works for you, keep it. If you want to play with it, download it from alternatemode.com or fxpansion.com. Enjoy yourself. Check out the tutorial videos at fxpansion.com for key mapping a drum set and for the hi-hat. No matter what layout you want to put together, it's very simple. So check it out, and thanks for watching.